Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we finished off the Invisible Road in um, Darkseid, the only road we have left now is Vanishing Road, and I'm very worried about it. So we're going to head over to it and do our best to complete it, but we may have some issues. Uh, I'm managing to triple jump here by timing it really, really carefully. Uh, I am in fact crouching, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, this one is Vanishing Road, and it's really hard. Basically, it's a timed challenge, and you have to platform your way up a, up a bunch of staircases and stuff. Uh, you may recognize this from the Metro Kingdom. Uh, there was actually a bike here, and you had to use the bike to do it. It was very easy. Um, it did take me a few tries on my very first playthrough, but I did it first time this time. It's easy. Um... So this first part is not a challenge. This is this is fine. All you gotta do here is just roll, uh, steer around that big wall there, keep rolling, and you'll reach this uh, top-hatted tank here, who's just trying to get in your way. Uh, you can take him out with the back with a ground pound if you want. This is the part that's really hard. When you hit this switch, it'll spawn another road leading up to that platform there, the one in front of us. Uh, but that row consists of many, many staircases. Uh, and to climb up a staircase while we're permanently crouching is quite tricky. Uh, we'll see how we go. As you can see, a bunch of staircases. And if we bonk, like, even once, we're pretty much out of time. See, as you can see, there is not much time to do that. Uh, we barely got anywhere. This road is worrying me. Uh, I think it's possible. Uh, I believe we, we, we can do triple jumps, which are the kind of jump you really want to use here, uh, by doing a ground pound jump and then continuing from there uh, with perfect timing, which I didn't do that time. As you can see, you can triple, triple jump without any problem, but pulling that off with enough speed to make it across the second P-switch section of this this uh, sub area is another story. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, the problem is basically one of speed. If we could get there, if we were allowed to slow down a bit and just do it at our own pace, it would be easy. But we aren't, so. Okay. Uh, I think we want to bonk here at the beginning so we can start backflipping up here. And then get a triple jump like that. You also want to use a lot of air dives, because they make you go forward quite a bit. But you can only do them off a regular jump, not off a long jump. Well, you know, you know not backflips and stuff as well, but you can't do them off long jumps. Which is a problem, because long jumps are what we have access to if we're moving at any decent pace, basically. Uh, so yeah, this is probably the hardest challenge for our run. Getting through Vanishing Road in time, because of the time limit. Uh, I may consider turning on assist mode for this. Assist mode, among other things, actually lengthens some of the timers. Uh, and it is something we are allowed to do in this run. I didn't rule it out at the beginning, as you may recall. I believe I said assist mode is allowed. Uh, I haven't used it yet, though. So I'm going to see if this is possible without it. Uh, I'm kind of thinking it's not, because I'm having so much difficulty getting up here, but it might be. Uh, I get the feeling if I can time my jumps a lot better, I can get up. But I'm only I'm getting less than halfway up there right now, so I would need to optimize my, my routing really, really enormously good. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking maybe if I ground pound jump on the switch in order to start a triple jump, that might be that might be effective. Uh, the problem is you normally have to triple jump and then dive several times, and we can't dive and then continue triple jumping because if we dive, it turns us into a rolling Mario who can only long jump. Uh, and once you're a hedgehog, you never go back. You know until you bonk on something, and we don't really have time to bonk on anything. Uh, so let's let's try making our way over here. What if we ground pound the switch first? Okay, uh, we lost it because we grabbed that ledge, and you can see that's still nowhere near enough time. 
<sighs> this second one is pretty much the hard one. Uh, there's a third section to this, but once you've managed to get through the second section, it's it's not any extra challenge, really. Uh, it's it's much, much more straightforward than this one. So this part, I am shaking the controller just to speed up, but there's actually plenty of time here. You probably don't need to do that. Probably just tapping Y would be enough. I'm just trying to get to the meat of the scenario a little quicker. Okay, so I think what we did there with the ground pound jump was a good way to start. I think we got further by doing that. So let's try that again. Hang on, hang on. I managed to do a regular jump after doing a dive. Hmm. Okay, I have some experimenting to do. Because <laughs> if you can dive and then do another regular triple jump, then you can probably do it the normal way, just with perfect timing. Uh, I was trying to dive there, but I ground pounded instead. Um, See, that gave me that gave me a long jump. I don't know why. Hmm. See, because because of the speed you have from the previous jump, you end up getting another. You you end up going into a long jump when you land. Uh. Because when you start rolling, of course, out of a roll, you just always long jump. But that's not enough to get the height we need, so... Hmm... You can actually regular jump out of a, out of a backflip, I think? Yeah. Okay, so that's not faster than doing a ground pound jump, uh, but it is another option, so that's interesting. Maybe I can preserve my triple jump long enough by doing that. Hmm. Okay, let's get through this first part anyway, this part's easy. Uh, I'm gonna just tap the Y button instead of... Uh, using the shake just to see if that's fast enough. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, save plenty of time. Okay, so this second part. Um, I know if you backflip, you can do a regular jump out of a backflip. But if you start rolling, you start rolling. Uh, you can actually wait back here for the switch to reset rather than dying, so that's kind of handy. See, I'm pulling off a lot of regular jumps here, but I'm not doing any dives, which is a problem because you need triple jump and dive to get up there fast enough. <sighs> it's just very, 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 very precise timing. Uh... Hmm... Oops, I didn't mean to press the switch. Just trying to bottle past it. I guess I'll just wait for it. Okay, I'm gonna try the backflip followed by regular jumps technique and see how that goes. So yeah, as soon as you dive, it turns into rolling instead, which is bad because then you bonk on the wall and you can't get enough height. Okay, so, Vanishing Road was... no, Invisible Road was surprisingly easy. Vanishing Road may be impossible. Uh, I'm not convinced it is. I think this is a way to do it. I just, I don't know if I have the skill to pull it off. <sighs> See, if you had Cappy, uh, you know, or the Scooter, you could use Cappy or the Scooter to make your way up there much, much faster.
the thing is with a long jump, say the height isn't enough from a long jump to get up there. So you need to use other kinds of jumps. So you can't be rolling when you make these jumps because then you're just gonna fall off and die. Uh. I'm tempted to turn on assist mode and see if that makes things easier. Um, I'm gonna do that, but I'm not gonna actually get the moon. Uh, I'm gonna put on assist mode and see if I can get through that second section with it on. Uh, I believe that just reloads from the beginning of the area you're currently in. Oh, actually it reloads from up here. Alright. Uh, as you can see, in assist mode... Oops. There we go. In assist mode, you don't fall to your death. You lose one health. And then if you just stand still for a little while... You might need to actually stand rather than crouching. Interesting. Uh, it's supposed to heal you back up to full health if you just stand still for a little while. But because we're crouching, we're not standing still, I think is the problem. Alright, it also says assist mode in the corner, as you can see. Um, mostly the game is unaffected. Uh, some of the timers and stuff take a bit... Take a bit longer. Uh, there's also supposed to be arrows giving you hints about where to go, but I can't see any. Maybe they don't show up in this part of the game. Anyway, we're gonna head back in, back in here again and see if the time is any more lenient once we've made that change, because apparently this does lengthen some of the timers. I don't know how many get lengthened. Uh, but we're gonna see. It will also make grinding this part a bit simpler because we don't have to restart every time we fall because we'll get bubbled. Okay, yeah, the timer is way more lenient. Wow. Alright. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at this next bit. What I'm thinking is we ground pound on the switch and then we start doing regular jumps from there to start making our way up. Okay, I messed it up real bad. Uh, let's see how we go. Okay, even in assist mode, I'm still not fast enough with these restrictions. Uh, you can see, yeah, it hurts you once, it bubbles you, and it drops you back on the ground where you were. Uh, and if we were standing up, we would actually get healed back to full health just by standing still like this. But because we're crouching, we don't get that. Which is good, actually. I I'm glad that, you know, assist mode isn't all-powerful. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if we can... Yeah, even with assist mode, we don't have enough speed to make our way up there. Hmm. Yeah, and also your main, your base health is 6 instead of 3, and a life up heart makes it 9. Which is a bit excessive in my opinion. But, you know, it's an assist mode. It's supposed to be easy in the regular game, so... Not a big problem, really. If a long jump were enough to get up there, this would be very doable, but it's not. Uh... uh so yeah, even with the assist timer, this still isn't happening. Um... Let's try doing it with the regular jumps instead of the instead of the rolls and stuff. Yeah, as soon as you grab a ledge, you lose the fact that you can do regular jumps, so that's not good. Yeah, even, even with assist mode on, the timer here isn't lenient enough for the slowness that we have in this mode. Uh, that is astonishing. 
Um, if we had Cappy, this would be very easy, I think, uh, because we could just use Cap Bouncers to climb up here real fast, but we can't use Cap Bouncers because this is a capless challenge area after all. But because we don't have Cappy, we can only cancel out the roll uh, when we do one. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I don't think this is possible. Um, I mean, I'm in assist mode. It should be much easier than normal, and I'm still not managing to pull it off. Uh, I'm not convinced that it's impossible, because... Uh, it's just that my timing sucks, I think. I get to about the same space spot each time, and I don't know how to optimize my routing any more than that, so... Hmm... Said I wouldn't get the moon if we did it this way, but I still might, because it's just proving so tricky. <laughs> okay, this is way too... this is obviously way too slow. Like, it's gonna start flashing in a second. See? Yeah, I don't, I don't think this is possible. Um, again, if we weren't crouching, we would actually heal the full health just by standing here. But because we're crouching, assist mode is more fair, which is kind of a weird thing. <laughs> I wonder if they had that in mind. Probably not, but maybe they did. <laughs> Okay, so I've now tried that eight times in a row, in assist mode, gotten to about the same spot every time. I'm starting to believe it's impossible. Uh, it could just be that I don't, I, I'm not, you know, bad at video games. I'm gonna heal myself up with the, with the assist part, just so I have a few more tries once we get over there. I could actually just use it at any time in order to heal up, but, you know, let's maintain a small semblance of challenge from the health system. <laughs> Technically, I should be getting healed up whenever I stand still, but, you know, crouching. Okay, so yeah, that first one is hilariously easy. Doesn't even start fading away until we've crossed it and taken out the guy on the other side. Rubber band slipped. Rubber band replaced. Alright. Okay, if I backflip, if I backflip onto the button, I can do a regular jump next instead of doing a ground pound jump, which would give me a little more time to get to the ground faster. So maybe that would help. I don't know. Let's replace the rubber band while we're waiting for the timer to time out. There we go. All right. Okay, that didn't work at all. I don't know what I expected to have happen. The thing is, if your timing on, the, on jumping isn't completely perfect, instead of getting a regular jump, you will get a long jump. Because you have momentum. Uh, and a long jump is completely worthless here, because of the height involved. Okay, we took a hit. Let's give it another shot. Yeah, we, we always get to around the same spot, and then the platform just vanishes, and I don't think there's a way to optimize that routing. It's kind of weird that a life up only gives you three hearts, even in this mode. Like, if you think about it, it should probably give you six, so that it matches up with your default health and doubles it. But it doesn't, it just gives you three. I don't know, it's weird. I guess they've decided that giving you, like, 12 health would just be too much. <sighs> well, back to the original six. I, I don't- I don't think this is possible. Um... I, I don't think it's possible to get up there while permanently crouching. It's just... 
we can't we can't move quickly enough. Uh, I've tried like triple jumps and I've tried <laughs> doing lots of backflips and I've tried all sorts of things and I just I don't think we can pull it off. Like, with the scooter, this is easy, because the scooter can also jump, and the scooter's jump is always high enough to clear these platforms. But in this version, without a scooter and without a cappy, we, we basically have no decent mobility options for getting up there. And if we start accidentally, you know, back, if we start doing accidental long jumps, we're kind of screwed because we can't control our rolling once we land. And we're just gonna bonk on something, which wastes so much time. <sighs> I, I don't think it's possible while crouching. I, I honestly thought it would be, but but having played through here, this is assist mode. Like the timer is like I think twice as long, maybe, and it, we're still not getting anywhere. But it's too slow, I think. Because, yeah, if we if we could use Cappy's, uh, Cappy's bounce to get up here, we could just backflip and then bounce and then do a dive, and we could, we, could, we could make our way up there very easily, but it's capless, it's scooterless, it's on a strict time limit, and we're incredibly slow. Uh, I, I think this is just like a perfect storm of impossibly difficult. <sighs> Which is really, really sad. Um, Because I expected this to be this to be entirely doable. I just thought it would be hard, but between like my optimize like the best I can optimize the routing, I don't think I can make it in time. Uh, because you can you can't do it with just triple dump jumps. You need to dive as well. At least I think you do. Uh, and when you dive, that makes you roll, and there's no way to stop rolling, so you can't do another triple jump. I mean, I did it there, but I completely changed direction and cancelled my momentum, which I don't want to do in the in the real thing. Um, I think it's impossible. Uh, I'm I'm just out of ideas at this point. I mean, I turn on assist mode to give myself more time, and I figured, you know, well, it'll be easy in assist mode, but it's it's not. It's still hard. Um, using two-player won't have any effect here because Cappy's not here. I believe two-player mode won't do anything in this room whatsoever. It's just too far. <sighs> okay. I'm, I'm starting to think this is impossible. I mean, I've been saying that for the past several minutes, but I'm getting more and more convinced that it is impossible. Which is really, really sad. We've just used up, like, two complete lives worth of, of assist mode health to try to do this. So that's 18 tries? I, I had 8 health in the first one, so 17 tries? It just doesn't seem possible. Um... I'll give it one more look, and then... I think we'll stop for this video, because we're already... Getting, getting to half an hour, or like 25 minutes, uh, and I'm just gonna leave it for now and wait to see if anyone has ideas on how to do this better, is my plan, because I'm convinced it can't be done. Um, I, some of my runs were obviously terrible, but even 
even the most optimized ones I could think of, it was still so slow. And remember, this is assist mode, so everything is theoretically giving us more time than it normally would. The first one we could see was definitely giving us more time, because that one is hilariously easy now. But this second one... <sighs> I just, I don't think it's possible. I don't think it can be done. get to about here every time, and I don't think we can get any further than that. And I've been attempting this, like, I'm going to see past 20 tries now. What do you think? 17, 18, 19? Okay, that's 19 tries. It's close to 20. <laughs> okay, this is try 20 now, so... Yeah, if you accidentally miss time one of the jumps by, like, a second... Well, not a second, by, like, a couple of frames... A second's quite a long time, honestly, in video games. Uh, then you just lose the fact that you're triple jumping, and... And I'm pretty sure just doing triple jumps is not enough to get up here. I'm pretty sure you need triple jumps and dives. And when you start diving, you start rolling. And when you start rolling, you can't triple jump anymore. <sighs> Mario, no. Well, that's embarrassing. Okay, okay, I'm gonna give two, two more tries till we've died again, and then I'm gonna call out a video, and I'm gonna say, for the time being, Vanishing Road is impossible. Uh, if someone thinks of a way to do this that hasn't crossed my mind, please let me know, and I will try to do it. Uh, but I'm gonna have to rule it out as impossible otherwise, because I'm just not seeing any possible way to optimize our speed more. To be clear, the reason I keep, like, sitting on the ground for a couple of seconds is so that I can backflip, because if I jump before I stop rolling, it'll be a long jump instead. And I don't have any other way to cancel out the... cancel out the rolling apart from just waiting for it to stop, or bonking, which takes longer. Yeah, that's all my lives gone again. Well, heart's gone. Okay, so I've spent... That's like 20... 23 attempts? I, I'm convinced that this is not possible to do while permanently crouching. Like, I'm in assist mode. It should theoretically be, like, hilariously easy to do in assist mode. It's not. It's still very, very hard. And, in fact, I don't... And, and because I, you know, want to be able to do everything normally, I'm convinced it's impossible in regular mode, and possibly impossible in assist mode too. So, I'm, I'm pretty much out of ideas at this point. Um, I'm going to switch us back out of assist mode, just so I don't forget to do that later. See, arrow is supposed to guide your way, but I didn't see any, so I don't know what that means. I assume that'll respawn me from the Odyssey again, because it looks like that's what it does. <sighs> sure did. Okay, we're back in normal mode. Although we still have six health for some reason. Uh, and... Yeah, I, I don't think Vanishing Road can be done, and that's really, really disappointing, because I was expecting to be able to do all three of the Dark Side's super tough sub-areas, just with some difficulty. I just thought with Breakdown Road, which I managed to pull off after, like, what was it, 15, 20 minutes? That was hard, it was doable. And then there was Invisible Road, which was not that hard at all and easily doable, but, but this one, I just, I don't know of a way to do it. I don't think it can be pulled off. <sighs> so, let me know if you can think of a way to do it. I'm not going to advance to Darker Side yet. Uh, there are several impossible moons all the way through here that I want to make possible and figure out how to do. Uh, so let me know about any of these impossible moons. I'm going to recap what they are right now, just so we all know what I'm talking about. Uh, the two Vanishing Road moons here on Dark Side. Uh, the two 2D moons in Bowsette's Kingdom. I couldn't get into the Folding Scroll. Uh, there's the Dancing Moon in Seaside Kingdom. Uh, the Sitting on the Bench Moon in Metro Kingdom. The uh, Dancing Moon in Sand Kingdom as well. 
And in Mushroom Kingdom, there's two more 2D moons, plus there's a moon for looking up in the castle from the carpet, like in um, Mario 64 when you're getting the wing cap. So, yeah, all of those moons, I can't figure out a way to get. Um, I believe Darker Side is possible, but I really don't want to start doing it until, I'm con until we've confirmed that none of those other moons can be obtained. Uh, because... Darker Side is really the game's ending, and I really want to save it as long as possible. Uh, I, I don't think Darker Side will be impossible. It, I know it has a 2D section, so if the game won't let us into 2D sections, I will have to skip that. Fortunately, I know how to skip that, so that won't be a problem. Uh, but it will be hard, uh, but it will be possible. Uh, there's nothing super time sensitive that we're going to have problems with in Darker Side like we will here. Uh, so we should be able to get through there successfully while permanently crouching. But before we do, there's all those impossible moons to think about. The two dancing moons, the bench moon, uh, the looking up at the ceiling moon, the 2D moons in Bowsette's Kingdom, the 2D moons in Mushroom Kingdom, and Vanishing Road. So... That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please, please, please let me know if you have some sort of strat that can help us get this stuff that I can't manage to reach, because I really want every moon. I really want to show it's possible. We're close. We're close. If you look at the number, if you try to look at the number and can't because of the angle, just throw Cappy here to look at the number that way. If you look at the number, we are at 867. Three of those are the multi-moon and darker side. Uh, which I know we can get. Which means that there's exactly 10 other moons in the game that we haven't gotten to get to 880. And those 10 all seem to be impossible. But they may be possible. Please let me know if you think there is a strat we can use. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And uh, don't stand up today. Make sure you stay crouching. <laughs> Ah. <sighs>